Good thoughts and a pretty painting to kick off 2021. Sean, how nice. And to top it off, we have some sunshine and nice weather too. We did, and it looks like we will continue to see slightly warmer temperatures each and every day until we warm up by Wednesday and Thursday everywhere. Now from our daytime highs of 60s along the coastline, we're down into the mid 50s, 55 in Del Mar, 56 in Carlsbad. Inland, it's already into the 40s in Ramona, as well as Campo at 43, also Julian at 43, and it's dipped into the 50s in Borrego at 53. That's a live shot from our Mount Soledad cam. We're looking back towards downtown San Diego, and you'll notice the camera very steady. That's because the winds are very light out of the northwest at five miles an hour. We've cooled off to 60 degrees and the humidity at 75%. Nothing really is changing for us other than a transitory high pressure moving through the region and then lows to the north of us. We continue to see this high surf advisory and the National Weather Service has gone ahead and extended it through Wednesday. We're talking big waves on all westerly and northwesterly facing beaches. The further you head south into the San Diego County area, the bigger the waves will get, hence the closing of the Ocean Beach Pier there. The reason for this very vigorous storms in the Pacific Northwest in the Gulf of Alaska. You notice this stream right here. This is called a fetch and this is where the winds move very quickly over open water and that generates the swell and you can see it directs itself right towards southern and central California and that will continue to be the case over the next couple days. Here's a look at this computer model of these storms moving through the Pacific Northwest and you can see that area of low pressure are high will settle in a little bit to the east of us over parts of Arizona. We'll put this into motion for you and that low will move into the Great Basin bringing snow into Colorado and by the time we get to Wednesday, another high pressure, even stronger this time, will bring warmer conditions. The storm track stays to the north of us, so at least half of California is getting rain and or snow at the higher elevations, and it looks like snow in the Cascades of Washington and Oregon. The Sierra Nevada expecting to see anywhere from 6 to 18 inches over the next 36 hours, so that's good for the snowpack. We're still behind, but starting to catch up just a little bit. So the forecast for the surf tomorrow, 3 to 5 feet in general, solid 8 foot sets everywhere, and even some bigger waves, possible 10 foot face heights on those westerly facing beaches in the South County. High tide just afternoon, 12, 17 p.m., coming from that low in the morning at 6.30 a.m., just before the sun rises there. Here's your eight-day microclimate forecast, 63-63, coast 69 on Tuesday, 71-73. There's that warm-up from the high pressure that comes in on Wednesday through Thursday. And then we stay slightly above average by about 2 to 4 degrees along the coastline and inland. For you folks in the mountains, the overnight lows into the 30s, but those daytime highs warming up nicely into the mid-60s and out in the deserts. It's prime time in Borrego out there, Steve. <laughs> you know, you're saying this just as all the kids are, well, I guess not heading back to school, but heading back to virtual school. They were enjoying a couple weeks mm. off. I mean, you, you didn't disappoint the last two weeks. We that's didn't. For sure. And with them heading back to virtual school, that means less surfers in the water <laughs> for moi. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, the surf is nice. Thanks, yes. Sean.